And we're back, folks. You may want to pull them a little bit away from your ears, because those that jump scare is gonna hurt. What is that buzzing sound? I don't know, I don't hear much over how loud these headphones are. I don't know how you do this. Now I can understand why you're yelling all the time. Yeah, it's cause... Well, A, I have my headphones over my ears. Sorry I'm not so talkative, folks. I'm just trying to hear. I almost feel like those steps are a countdown. Also, I can just barely hear them through the headphones. My headphones are a lot softer than yours, apparently. Well, as we can tell. Oh, well, not that the folks at home can tell. That the two of us can tell. Right. I didn't hear what that one was, what side that was on. I didn't either. I, I still can't tell. hear scratching but I don't know where it's from I have, I'm gonna move my headphones off your head because you're about to die and that's gonna hurt really bad it's lucky having an extra pair of hands so he doesn't take have to take his hand yeah that is really loud I know yeah these don't help I, I just can't tell I can't understand what I can't understand the audio cues, and I, I don't have a sense of direction when it comes to sound. In fact, I think being able to hear more made me panic more. Well, that implies that you could hear more. Well, I could hear more. I couldn't hear where it's coming from. That's the problem. Maybe it's because we have kind of cheap headphones. Mine are not cheap. See, I don't know what those footsteps mean. Those aren't footsteps. What are they? It's the sound of the computer. Oh! That little... T yeah. Yeah, that's the computer. That's really annoying that it's that random. It feels like home. 
something has entered a vent. It kind of sounds like uh, they're on both sides. But we don't know how long you have to flash them for. Right. I, I just, I, I don't know the mechanics. This is why I feel like this is the most annoying one. There's no real way to know. Right. Of course, the fourth one was like that too. I just have to hope that works. I was staring right at him. Easier than I thought it would be. Unless he dashed from behind. Because we we think that um Spring Trap can dash. Mm. I'm not even getting like jumpy. I I'm not getting super scared anymore. I'm I'm actually getting more pissed off. You know what? Let's just try the direct approach. No beating around the bush. Still just sitting in the chair. Waiting to die. I mean, if... Yeah. Sometimes he gets stuck at the, uh, the, at the trap, and sometimes he doesn't. I think once they touch the trap, they get to go. So well, that... every, every time you think someone has touched it, you need to move it. But see, the thing I say to counter that is... I got through all but one the uh, when I tried to do this off camera. We got through everything but one of them and then baby showed up. And I had never even turned off the monitor. But I, I, I just don't get it. I really don't. And there's her. Yep. Ah. Well, at least I've been managed. At least I've managed to get jump scared by everyone so far. Folks at home, I'm not entirely sure I could do this. I. 
I'm not entirely sure what to do. That was fast. He's died. Easier yeah. than I thought it would be. There's there's got to be some trick. I, I know Scott said that it's all about patience, but patience doesn't seem to get me anywhere with this. Maybe you're being overly patient. But see, there's no there's no input after. Uh, a after any given point. Actually, what I really liked about the first one, you kind of just knew when something was there. True. He's still fapping to the tiny Freddy doll on the top of his computer. He's still just there. with uh, ordering I'm gonna try to get it done uh, pretty quick I don't think looking in just one direction is good for you well I uh, I don't have a lot of... It's something has entered the vent on the other side. I don't have a lot of info to go off of. You're almost at 100. Wait, was that entering or exiting? I, I don't know. That ought to cover you for at least a few seconds. Yep. That's a new voice line. Yeah. See, we're not... I, I still think you're looking too much at the one side. But see, every time I've looked away from there, I just die. That That's, that's the thing. I can't... Oh, without constantly checking the motion tracker, I can't tell if he's there. I think you just wave back and forth like a jackass. But see, when I do that strategy, I still get killed. I do it... Because I don't think it's longer than three seconds to make them go away. It's either... It's either it takes about three seconds to convince them to get the hell out, 
or you have to get them to attack you to or to try and attack you to get the hell out but you have no way of knowing that second thing so you might as well just go one two three one two three back and forth like a jackass the whole time but we'll try it your way I mean, there's so little information, that seems to be the only defense I can think of. I'm still gonna do this, though. Oh, yeah, I, one, I think you have to three. reset them. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. It clicked. What? Oh. Three. Three. Oh yeah. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sorry, that's probably annoying. Probably. But if you win, it worked. If you don't win, then it was just annoying. Can you actually go back and forth without looking at the, uh... No. Okay. Are you sure that's the computer making that noise? Yes. Well, my birthday. Did you have a gift for me? Yeah, apparently my mangled corpse. I'd say that worked. You were almost done. But the thing is, we still have no proof of either either way actually working. You got really far that time. I did on the the uh, first time I did the other one too. The other yeah, that's true, but you also reset the audio trap a couple times during the first one. Maybe the actual strategy is to do both. Because you are skipping one thing that they said to do. What? Keep resetting the audio trap till you see three. How often do they say to do that? Uh, right at the beginning. Oh. It's all three. Yep. And how often am I supposed to do it? Resetting the audio trap? Yeah. I'd almost say you want to do it every time you finish a task. Alright, let's go again.
out. I see. I don't know if they were saying just C three on the screen like that, or um, a C three all in one place. We're going too fast. What? I'm Let's counting see. to three. We're counting real quick though. There you go. Late. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. I still think you're going a little fast. I, I don't know how short I'm supposed to be counting. I, I said three seconds. But maybe you should use the motion tracker a little more. It seems like you can only depend on the motion tracker to tell you something's in the vent, though. Let's go again! Let's go again! I didn't get anyone's responses there. Not quite a few. Two. The vents on that side. Which side? That side you're looking at. I didn't hear someone leave. On this side? Yeah. Maybe gone now. Yeah, I, I don't. It feels like my I, I legitimately don't know, guys. Did you have a gift for me? Keep trying.
I heard scratching. Which side? Uh, other side. That seemed weird. That was a little weird. It almost sounded like he was shushing me. Yeah. Maybe nothing can stop Lefty from attack you, uh, attacking you other than shutting everything down? I, That'd be a really weird hint, though. But see, that's the first time he's attacked me in a good while. Right. Maybe we're reading way too much into this. can't tell which side they're on. I couldn't tell you. Might as well turn the fan on while you're. You know, something's in that fan. Well, I didn't want to attract anything from the other side. Better than burning to death, methinks. Turn it off again. What are you going to get the track? Yep. Where are you? I think you're leaving the fan off for too long. Maybe. Fucking finally! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. And at 108 degrees. You played right into our hands. Fuck you! Did you really think that this job just fell out of the sky for you? Yep. No. This was a gift for us. Oh, you I gathered hope... them all together in one place. Just like he asked you to. All of those little souls in one place. Just for us. A gift. Now we can do what we were created to do. And be complete. I 
will make you proud, Daddy. Watch, listen, and be full. Connection terminated. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth, if you still even remember that name. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You are not here to receive a gift, nor have you been called here by the individual you assume, although you have indeed been called. You have all been called here, into a labyrinth of sounds and smells, misdirection and misfortune. A labyrinth with no exit, a maze with no prize. You don't even realize that you are trapped. Oh, shit. Your lust for blood has driven you in endless circles, chasing the cries of children in some unseen chamber, always seeming so near, yet somehow out of reach. But you will never find them. None of you will. This is where your story ends. And to you, my brave volunteer, who somehow found this job listing not intended for you. Although there was a way out planned for you, I have a feeling that's not what you want. I have a feeling that you are right where you want to be. I am remaining as well. I am nearby. This place will not be remembered, and the memory of everything that started this can finally begin to fade away, as the agony of every tragedy should. And to you monsters trapped in the corridors, be still, and give up your spirits. They don't belong to you. For most of you, I believe there is peace, and perhaps more waiting for you after the smoke clears. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole. So don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. My daughter, if you can hear me, I knew you would return as well. It's in your nature to protect the innocent. I'm sorry that on that day, the day you were shut out and left to die, no one was there to lift you up into their arms the way you lifted others into yours. And then, what became of you? I should have known you wouldn't be content to disappear. Not my daughter. I couldn't save you then. So let me save you now. It's time to rest, for you, and for those you have carried in your arms. This ends, for all of us, in communication. I died in a fire! <laughs> Congratulations on completing your work week. We apologize if your situation wasn't presented to you in a completely honest fashion when you first started, but it's it was right. important that your intentions and actions be genuine. Here at Fazbear Entertainment, we value fun, family, and food, but more importantly, we value our commitment to atoning for past mistakes and tying up loose ends. Thank you for your participation. There is no need for you to return to work next week as Fazbear Entertainment is no longer a corporate entity. Please accept this certificate of completion. Goodbye for now, and thank you for taking this journey with us. So I died, right? Yes, it appears you are dead. Well, I went out in a blaze of glory. That pun was terrible, man. Uh... Scrap Baby, Heather Masters. William Afton, Molten Freddy, Tutorial Unit. Oh yeah, the Cassette Man. So who is Cassette Man? William Afton. No, William Afton the Springtrap. Oh, oh, um. Oh, wait, William Afton the Springtrap. It, it has to be the other guy. What was his name? Uh, wait, the voice actor? No, the 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 business partner. Oh, whose um, daughter died. I don't remember. Gabrielle. Fritz, Susie, Jeremy, and two that we can't see. Oh yeah, Fritz died. The names of all the remaining... for all of the previous employees. Well, no, two of them. Two of them weren't. Two of them were, though. Well, no. It was three of the characters. 
because one is the child you play as. Yep. One's Jeremy Fitzgerald. Yep. One is Fritz, who I think died in the fire of uh of Fazbear's Horrors. I thought he was incarcerated and went insane. Hmm. Could be. Well, we didn't play it to completion, but this has been a ride. Thank you all so much for joining us as we played through Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. It's been fun. It really has been. I I'm kind of a fan of the Freddy Fazbear series. And, uh, and we hope to see you all in the next game. See you, everybody.